If you are new to Japanese animation, please take a minute to learn about the cultural and historical background which gives this art form its unique character. Japanese animation is often referred to as Japanimation or anime. You will notice very non-Japanese looking characters with vibrant hair colors such as yellows, reds, and blues, as well as distinctive hairstyles such as pigtails, ponytails, and decorative ribbons. In many cases, these hairstyles are exaggerated beyond the laws of physics. These traits are used in Japanese animation as techniques to easily differentiate the characters. It is far easier to tell characters apart when they have strikingly different hair colors and styles. Since many women in Japan wear such hairstyles and accessories, including many singers and actresses in their 20s and 30s, such styles are commonplace in the culture. Other frequent images in Japanimation include school uniforms such as sailor-style blouses, skirt and blazer outfits, and bloomer-style exercise clothes. School uniforms have been mandatory in Japan dating back to the late 1800s and were influenced by uniforms used in countries such as Germany and Victorian England. Students of all ages, primary school to university, wore uniforms until World War II. All students wearing uniforms in Anime 18 videos are attending a two-year Takidegaku short-term college, as opposed to a full four-year university, most of which no longer require uniforms. One question we are frequently asked is, why are their eyes so large? This technique dates back to the original Western influence on Japan of animated characters such as Betty Boop and early Walt Disney characters of the 1930s. Since then, big eyes have developed into a standard feature of almost all animation and manga comic book characters in Japan. Indeed, many U.S. comic book characters fail to sell well in Japan because their small eyes are considered unfriendly or too cold by many Japanese. Some Westerners wonder why voice actresses in anime videos often have such high-pitched voices. God, what's her deal? This is also a cultural phenomenon. Such voices are seen in Japan as more attractive and feminine. Many Japanese companies specifically instruct the receptionists and female sales assistants to use a high-pitched voice when dealing with customers. But I feel really powerful. A note about a more private matter. You will notice a lack of pubic hair on almost every character, male and female, whether age 19 or 90. This trait of the art form reflects the fact that until very recently, any depiction of pubic hair in a photograph or drawing was illegal in Japan. Although in the mid-1990s, this became somewhat relaxed in terms of live photos. The Japanimation industry has adopted an informal consensus not to depict pubic hair in animated works due to fears of adverse public and government reaction. Thank you for supporting the anime art form. Where God is present, so is the devil. Where the Chojin is present, so too is Kyo. <laughs> The destruction wrought upon this world by the Chojin Nagumo has passed. 